Oh, good morning. What a, what a beautiful day it is out here in, uh, in Gibraltar. Had a wonderful dream last night, a wonderful dream where we won the league and we got promoted. And it was, oh, it was just absolute bliss. You do know that winning the league isn't very likely at all. You've got to play first place Almeria and third place Sevilla oh, today. Oh, God, you're right. It's, we can't win the league yet. There's still plenty of time to go. There's still two games against the other two teams in the top three places in the division. Oh, my. Well, suddenly this dream has turned into a nightmare. But of course, if you want to keep up with all the latest scores and the live table, then you need to download One Football. One Football is the app where you can keep up to date with all the live scores throughout the games. And whilst you're watching those games, you can keep up with the live table as well to see exactly what happens when every goal goes in at the back of the net. You can also see up to date lineups with substitutes and all that good stuff coming into the game. Yellow cards, red cards, injuries, everything like that. Uh, so if you've not done so already, there's a link in the top line of the description to download the One Football app for free. We'd massively appreciate it if you could do that. Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 3. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to today's episode where we should hopefully conclude the league season. Obviously playoffs will be tomorrow all being well. I say all being well because we might actually drop out of the top three still. There's a chance we might not get it and might not get those playoffs to try and get promoted for the next season. So we'll talk more about that in a moment. First things first, we'll go through the fixtures that happened since you guys were last here and we'll show it as the big or everyone's fixture, so you can kind of get a bit of context as to what's going on. Uh, the first of the two games we played off camera was against Atletico Salaqueño and we drew 2-2 in that game, which obviously wasn't ideal, particularly when Seville won their game and Almeria managed to, where are they on that screen? They won their game as well. So as you can see, we went on to 61 points and Almeria beat up to 64 points and Sevilla on 63. So wasn't looking great for us, but we still had a game in hands, which we played off camera as well. And that was against La Jolla, which we just about scraped through, winning it 3-2 to put it onto 64 points ahead of Sevilla in the league, but behind Almeria because Almeria beat us earlier on in the season. And of course, today... Well, today's fixtures, we've got one game against Almeria, who are top of the table, and the final league game of the season is against Sevilla B, who are third in the table as it stands right now. So it's absolutely mental. But obviously, we could lose both these games very easily. Uh, Almeria and Sevilla are two of the best three teams in the division at this moment in time. So we could easily lose both of those and drop some points. All Marino need to do is win both their games, and they go ahead of us in the table. So... <laughs> Nothing is sorted out yet. We've got to pick up points in these games. There was a little bit of good news actually in between episodes as well. Uh, we've got a bank loan of £1.1 million to help pay the club's running costs. As you can see on the screen right now, that £1 million coming through. Unfortunately, uh, it's not put us into the black. We're still £200,000 in the red. And obviously, we've got £1.1 million to start paying off as well. If you we go to uh, expenditure, where is it? No, debts and loans. Debts and loans. We're paying £4,500 a month. Uh, and we're paying that until 2048, apparently, to pay off this loan. So not much to pay off, to be fair, but the interest will just keep going up, I imagine, and it will take longer and longer to pay off. And basically, it's not great, but at least we're no longer a million pounds plus in the reds. And of course, it doesn't do anything to help with the wage budget or anything like that. So if any, any rich people want to try and take over the club right now, that would be amazing. Heading into today's first game, though, against Almeria, we've got, we've got to win. We've got to win it, really. We keep messing things up. We could have gone several points clear of Almeria at this stage, but we're just not in good form at the moment, which makes me very, very worried heading into this game. Obviously, Anthony Wall, the best player on the pitch, starts in goal four as the back line of Brito, Dobrievic, Lopez and Kian Ronan. Pau, Schneider and Cipollina combine in that midfield because uh, Andrew Schittigel currently injured, although I'm tempted to bring Yaya on for Pau instead. We might bring him on as a substitute later on. The front three obviously unchanged. Uh, Raul, Kike and Crosdale. Crosdale picked up a small knock, but should be okay to play for today's game. So in the episode where we could win the league title for a second season in a row, kickoff is upon us. And there's a highlight straight from the kickoff. If we score a nice early goal here... 
that would be amazing. Although we have just given the ball straight away to Almeria, who are looking to come forward with a bit of pace, to be fair. And they've got it all oh, nearly through, nearly through to their striker. And uh, that was a great interception from Dobrievic. And Raul Jr. at the other end of the pitch tries to chip the keeper by the looks of things there. It was never going to work. Immediately, another highlight straight away. Inside of a minute, already been two highlights in this game, as it is Almeria looking to come. I thought it was a replay at first, because it was just so quick. But no, there is actually a highlight coming as we've conceded not the best start to the game it's taken them what 75 seconds and they've done it so a terrible start to the game um oh, you hate to see it really uh, we need to keep an eye obviously on the Sevilla game who are currently losing to Merida that's very good for us and uh Marino as well CD Marino in fact that game doesn't matter too much right now because actually I've just realized if we lose this game to Almeria we can't win the league table we, we can't win the league because obviously they'll have a better head-to-head -head record with us. They'll be three points ahead. They might lose their next game and we would win it to go to six, seven points with them. But they'd have a better head-to-head -head record against us. So we need to win today. But unfortunately, as we get to almost half-time, if we can score one just before half-time, that would be amazing as Crosdale puts that just over the bar. Half-time then. 1-0 down. Thrash the arms around. I am far from pleased from what I've just seen from this team. Not happy in the slightest. Come on, boys. Let's go a bit more attacking out there. Let's shout. Demands more. Raul Jr. can't win the ball. He loses possession. and But we do regain it with Lopez at the back. Into Kian Ronan, who puts it forward to Raul Jr. Raul Jr. in towards Kike. No one's there. Ronan, though, with the ball. Come on, put it in the middle. Cipollina in the middle. Someone, just get this in the middle, please. Cipollina to Pau, who oh, loses possession. And here come Almeria B on a bit of a counter attack. A bit of a counter attack? A bit of a counter attack. Oh, you hate to see it. Tom, I can never pronounce things right, can I? Never pronounce things right. It's getting worse, isn't it? It just started off with player names. Now it's just words in general that I'm just not saying right most of the time. And it's because I'm panicking. I'm panicking that Almeria B are going to beat us to the league title. And to be fair, we shouldn't have to win this league title because we won it last season. We should have got promoted because of that. But no, the bloody playoff system in Spain is bloody annoying and it's all bloody annoying that Almeria keep bloody scoring past us. So as it stands right now, Almeria are winning the league title because we won't be able to overtake them in the league. Unless, of course, Sevilla uh, do something special. But they're 2-0 down in their game as well, I believe, right now. So I don't think they're going to have a chance of winning the league. Brito, in the meantime, for us, into Pau. Pau back to Brito, up to Kike. Kike to swing one into the Taylor Crosdell. In some penalty. S someone give us a penalty. How have we not scored any of those shots? Oh, you just know it's not going to be your day when that kind of thing happens. There's Almira. I can guarantee they'll score now. They'll score, won't they? They won't quite. Okay, so Schneider on the ball. Into Taylor Cross there. We've got 25 minutes or so to get three goals in this game. Can Kike get one of them? He can. Okay, excellent. Let's go very attacking now and shout fire up to the boys. I'm tempted to bring on like a fourth striker or something like that. I don't think that's actually going to work properly for us, but we... Might give it a go to Ferris Lopez. Can he do anything with this? Gets it to Pau, into Schneider, into Kike. Kike, oh, you idiot. You just, he shot it straight at the keeper. Corner for us now. The highlights are coming thick and fast as Pau gets his head on it, but it's cleared instead. Schneider, go on, lad. Back in the middle. Crosdale heads it over the bar again. How many times have we seen him do that today already? I think just twice, actually. Just twice. Right, round up in the best of games. Get off the pitch. Onino, on you come. Um, Cipollini's had a terrible game. Let's bring David on. In, no, let's not bring David on because he's not very good in that position. Let's bring, where is he? Mustafa Yaya, on you come. See what you can do. And then Ethan Brito has not done very well. So Eusebio Monzo, on you go. Confirm that. Can we go very attacking as well, please? I'd like to be able to go very attack. We all, we're already on very attacking. Demands more. 15 minutes to go in this game. Let's go back into here. Let's make everyone pretty much wing back, attack, wing back, attack. Yaya, can you be like a Mazala on attack, please? Mazala, attack. Pow, uh, where are you? Mazala, attack, go. Everything being thrown forward now. Absolutely everything. Unf oh, come on. Don't do not do me dirty like this. Score a goal. Crossdale <laughs> could have had a hat-trick of headers today, but puts it over the bar again. You cannot write this, can you? Oh, you hate to see it. And as Almeria B 
look to wrap up the league title right now. Luna coming forward, shoots from distant, puts it well wide. Is there going to be another highlight in this game? Please let there be another highlight in this game as Sevilla is still losing and Marino is still drawing. So... As it stands right now, we stand a good chance of actually staying in the top three. I think we've got a better head-to-head -head record against Marino, so I think we might be okay to qualify for the top three despite not being able to win the league title. Can't fault, Actually, I can fault all your performances out there. Throw the bottle. Unacceptable, really, that we, sh we should have won that game. Congratulations, Almeria. Um, I hope you're all celebrating and getting excited thinking you've actually got promoted because... We learnt the hard way, you haven't yet. So well done, Almeria. I hope you've learned a lesson in grace and decorum, or whatever the quote is from Come Dine With Me. If you're not in England, or you don't watch Come Dine With Me, or have never heard of Come Dine With Me, that will make no sense to you at all. So obviously not quite how today's episode was, was meant to go. You know, the plan was to beat both Almeria and Sevilla, and uh, end up top of the table, winning that again, and then... You know, we'll, we'll have two league titles in a row. We've not we've not quite done it. And you could argue we have regressed a little bit from last season. But I don't think the teams that we've played against this season... I think the teams we played against last season were not as good as the teams this season. Have we gained points or have we lost points from last season? Last season we got 64 points. This season, 64 points. So we've done just about as good a job again. But the B team, the B team. Let's have an update on the B team as they... I, I think they, they, they have finished third in the league, actually. They have done because there's only two games left to play and they are more than six points ahead of Lynx but haven't got any sort of European thing next to their name so I presume they aren't going to get European football next season which is a bit of a shame although at least that does does mean that the database is actually working as intended so that's quite good right final game of the season and the thing is I don't know who we'd change around maybe Powell comes off for, for Yaya Andre Schittigel on for Cipollina let's give him a run out Michael Cipollina onto the bench instead it doesn't really get any better, really. That's the issue. Kian Ronan off for Gabalondo has just come back from an injury. Maybe that's the change that we make. Give Gabalondo a run out there. Monzo comes back on for Ethan Britta. I think Monzo's just a better player. That'll do, I reckon. That'll do. Let's let's submit the team and just, just hope and pray. Oh my! Imagine if we don't do this now. So kickoff is upon us. We're playing Sevilla, obviously. The only team we need to worry about is Marino and how they get on in their game. If they don't win, we're absolutely golden to get a top three finish and get ourselves into the playoffs. There's Lopez forward to Kike. Kike into Yaya. Yaya to Schneider. Nice little ball through almost is actually Sevilla. Do very well to intercept that nicely. But Dobrievic into Schneider. Out to Kike again. Come on, let's build backwards. Eusebio Monzo to swing one in the middle. He does. Crosdale. It, honestly, it's not funny anymore, Taylor Crosdale. It's not funny. That's the fourth time in today's episode we've just seen him do that. In the meantime, then, uh, who are Marino playing? Marida. If anyone can beat Marino, it's Marida. I've got very confused with the names there, but I'm, I'm basically, I'm just banking on his <laughs> other teams not winning their games. I think that's the, the biggest hope we have right now, unfortunately. I'm just not feeling very confident. We have dropped form recently, and obviously we lost the last game, almost considered there to Sevilla. Honestly, even if we do get into the playoffs... I am worried about our form and I'm very concerned that we'll bottle it all again as Schneider's free kick goes wide. Sevilla coming forward on the ball then into Alvarez. No, okay, that is not good at all. So what this means is we drop down to third as it stands right now. Um, oh God, and everything hangs in the balance elsewhere. I need to check on the Merida Marino score. I need to know what's going on there. I need some information as Gabalondo back to Anthony Ward. Let's clear this out from the back. Come on. Come on, boys. Dobrievic forward to Yaya. Yaya, come on. Get it forward again to Crosdale. Maybe not Crosdale because he always puts it over the bar as their keeper manages to clear it away. But Eusebio Monzo does collect the loose ball as Schneider coming forward once again. Driving forward with a bit of pace. Back to Yaya. Back to Eusebio Monzo. Who's got time and space to put across in the middle. This time it's Raul who puts it over the bar. We need to work on our heading. And I still can't get a, a, a score for Merida and Marina. Because it keeps flashing away so quickly. I've not seen anything since they score. Because it just keeps going highlight, highlight, highlight straight away. As Alvarez gets another... Okay. We're not winning this game, I don't think. Blimey. This is... We, oh, what if we bottle this? Oh, look! luckily for us... Oh, not luckily for us. Marino were 1-0 down. They've, they've now just gone 1-1. One, one. 
throw a water bottle. I'm far from pleased in what I've just seen, because I am. Let me look at the league table. Oh my god, it's so close. Why? I, let me just look at the league table. It's not... Everyone I pause the game is... We've lost this game. We've lost it. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's not in our hands anymore, this. It's not in our hands. Right, pause the bloody game. Right, pause it. Amazing. Okay, so... To, to catch up, Marino Marida are drawing. Puts them on 64 points, but we've got a better head-to-head -head record than them. So they, they stay in fourth, we stay in third. We just need to... We can't win this game now. There's not a chance. Our players' heads have dropped. Everyone's playing terribly. Um, our form is out the window. We don't stand a chance, I don't think, if we get into the playoffs at this rate. And even if we... even if oh, It's not even in our hands, is it? It's not in our hands. Alvarez coming forward for Sevilla. Go on, lad. Make it, get, get a fourth. He's got a fourth. I don't understand what's gone wrong today. Or the past five games, really. We've been absolutely phenomenal all season. And then... When it really, really matters, our form has gone completely out the window. They're going to get a fifth, aren't they? They're going to get a fifth. <sighs> Not quite. I don't think we've conceded four goals all season. Really don't think we've conceded four goals or five goals all season. But we, we have now. What is it with just these constant highlights? I just need to see what's going on. There's highlight after highlight. I don't care at this point. Just get the game over with. I'm stressed. I'm panicking. I don't want to do another season in this division I don't want us to work so hard all season to then just bottle it completely. I've done it too many times already, this football manager, you know, in the live streams as well and things like that. I can't I can't be doing this again as again, straight away another highlight. Can I just see the league table, please? That's all I want to see. I just need to know if Marino are winning or losing or drawing. I need to know how that affects us as Kike. I mean, Crosdale scores one now, does he? Bloody hell, you could have done that against bloody Almeria, couldn't you? Marino Marida still drawing. We need to just keep an eye out on that one as we've conceded a sixth. A sixth. I'll be honest, we've not played very well in the previous two episodes and the previous two episodes I've been wearing Lincoln City kits. So I'll be honest with you, I think the Lincoln City kit is cursing this. Um, I think it's a bit of a curse. So I'll, if, if we make it through to the playoffs, I will not be wearing this. Go on, Sevilla. Make it seven. I, I bloody dare you. I bloody dare you. Still 1-1 one, one with Mariano and Marida. We are holding on by the skin of our teeth. More high... What's the point? Don't show me any highlights. Just tell me that Sevilla have scored another one. I don't need to see it anymore. There's no way we're coming back and winning this game or anything like that. As shitty gel, forward to Raul. We... <laughs> I mean, well done your 30th goal of the season, Raul. That's fantastic. But right now, I couldn't care less. Where are Marida and Marino still drawing? And I... I tell you what. As the clock ticks down, gen, I think we've just... Just about done enough to keep ourselves up here. I say keep ourselves up, like, to get ourselves into the promotion playoffs. Oh... There is still time for Sevilla to make it seven, though, uh, which wouldn't be ideal, obviously. Dobrievic clears it up to Kike. Kike coming forward. Um, come on, lads. Let's. I mean, he had all the time in the world to do something clever there, and he, he just got tackled. We don't seem to be playing with any confidence, and I'm not quite sure what shot our confidence, all of us. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a different Lincoln. They, they, they think I'm an idiot or something like that, or don't think I recognise. So it's full time here. Annoyingly, we've had more shots and stuff like that, which is really annoying, but, you know, that's what it is. Um, I expect you in training tomorrow, obviously. Have we done enough? I don't know. Have we done... We've done enough. Oh, my goodness gracious me. By the absolute skin of our teeth, we are in the playoffs. The absolute skin of our teeth. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. We've been drawn against Sevilla, the team that's just battered us. Away from home as well. Away from home. Um, oh my. Okay, well, that's that, innit? That is that. Almeria have got Osasuna B team, whatever, so they've got a, it's, it's two B teams against each other. And look how many B teams there are. It's annoying, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven B teams, I think. 
Deportivo Aragon, are they a B team? Affiliated clubs, eight B teams then, because that's just Zaragoza, isn't it? Eight B teams. Get B teams out of football. That's all I can say. Get them out. And then we would have won the league title this year again, wouldn't we? Oh, it's so cruel. So, so cruel that we've got to, <laughs> we've got to do this. Oh, it's two legs though, so we do get a home fixture as well. So we can get battered twice. Get absolutely battered. How are we turning this around? I don't know. We've got three weeks though to turn it around, so... I will arrange some friendlies right now. Uh, let's let's get some multiple friendlies in there. Uh, multiple friendly matches. One, two, three, four. Just choose really small teams. Very small reputation. We don't care who. We can't play anyone that day, apparently. Can we just can we change that to... Why can't we play anyone those days? No one's around those days, apparently. Tuesdays, they're fine. Um, <laughs> Tuesdays seem to be okay. Let's just play some... But Sundays aren't fine. Let's do Tuesday for... Tuesday, Thursdays then. Just basically, just just batter some teams just to build the morale up again. That's all we need to do. So we should batter these teams, get the morale back, get some form back, get some confidence back. And then next time, we'll be here for, at the very minimum, both games against Sevilla. And hopefully we'll beat them and get through into the, the final of the playoffs. I assume it's the final. I hope there's no more hoops to jump through, but it wouldn't surprise me in this stupid Spanish football league system. Oh, can you tell when I'm stressed? You can, can't you? I'm stressed. I don't... I'm worried. I'm very worried. So, thank you very much for watching today's episode, although it has been a bit of an unmitigated disaster. Uh, fingers crossed tomorrow goes better in the playoffs, although... A big part of me says it's probably not going to. So thank you very much for watching today. Hope you have enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you have done, drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And of course, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.